These sets of problems we have to solve for x, but as we can see, in all of these questions, x is inside the brackets. To solve for x, there are two methods that we can do. I'm going to go through each method, and then you can decide which method you feel most comfortable with. In the first example, we have 5 times, in brackets, negative 8x plus 15, all equals 435. Now the first method that we are going to do is we are going to get rid of this 5 outside the brackets. So we can see that this 5 is multiplied by the whole brackets. So to get rid of this 5, we can just divide both sides by 5. And then we draw our line, and we're left with negative 8x plus 15 equals 87. Now we see that x is not inside the brackets anymore, and we can just continue on with our normal method. So, because we have an addition of 15, we want to subtract 15 by both sides. And we're just left with negative 8x equals 87 minus 15, which is 72. And then we're just left with multiplication between the 8 and the x, so we're going to divide negative 8 by both sides. And now we're left with negative 8x divided by negative 8, which is just x, equals 72 divided by negative 8, which leaves us with negative 9. That is our first method that we can do, where we get rid of the 5 to get rid of the brackets. Now we're going to move on to the second method that we can do. The second method involves our distribution laws, so we're going to distribute this 5 into everything inside the brackets. So 5 times negative 8x leaves us with negative 40x, and then 5 times 15 gives us 75. So we're left with all of that equaling 435. And now we're left with no brackets and we just have to isolate for this x. So to isolate for x, we're going to subtract 75 by both sides, draw our line, and we're left with negative 40x equals 360. Now we just have a multiplication between the negative 40 and the x, so to get rid of this, we're going to divide both sides by negative 40, draw our line, and we have negative 40x all over negative 40, which leaves us with x equaling 360 divided by negative 40, which is negative 9. So if you can remember, in our last method, we had x equals negative 9 as well. So that means either method you pick, you're going to get the same answer. You just want to pick whatever method you feel most comfortable with. Now moving on to our next example, we have negative 10 equals 2 times brackets x minus 3. Now again, let's do our first method by getting rid of this 2 by both sides. So to get rid of this 2, we want to divide both sides by 2. And then we draw our line, and we're left with negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5 equals x minus 3. Now we just want to isolate for this x, so we're going to add 3 to both sides, draw our line, and we get negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2, and then x minus 3 plus 3 just leaves us with x. So our final answer is x equals 2. Now we're going to do our second method of distributing this 2 inside everywhere in the brackets. So first we're going to multiply this 2 by the x, and then we're going to multiply the 2 by negative 3. So you get negative 10 equals 2x minus 6. Now we want to isolate for this x, so we want to get rid of this negative 6 by adding 6 to both sides. And then we draw a line, and we're left with negative 10 plus 6 is negative 4, equals 2x plus 6 minus 6, which is just 2x. Now to get rid of this multiplication between the 2 and the x, we want to divide both sides by 2. And then we draw a line, and we're left with negative 4 divided by 2, which is negative 2, equals 2x over 2, which leaves us with x. And in our last method, we got negative 2 equals x as well. So again, both methods work. It's just whatever way you want to pick. In our final example, we have 9 all multiplied by inside the brackets of x minus 11 equals 0. Now I'm going to start with the first method by getting rid of this 9 by dividing both sides by 9. Now we have x minus 11 equals 0 divided by 9, which is just 0. So now to isolate for x, we're going to add 11 to both sides, and we're left with x equals 11. Now let's do the second method. 
Our second method involves the distribution laws, so we're going to multiply this 9 by everything inside the brackets. So we have 9 times x, which is just 9x, minus 9 times 11, which is negative 99, and that all equals 0. Now to isolate for this x, we want to get rid of this negative 99 by adding 99 to both sides. So we're left with 9x equals 0 plus 99, which is 99. Now to get rid of this multiplication, we're going to divide both sides by 9, and we're left with x equals 11. Now in our previous method, we also got x equals 11, so that means both methods work.